Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How you guys doing? Welcome to vacation vlog day number 19. How you guys doing? I am out and about this morning, run a few errands. Technically it's afternoon, it's like 12 o'clock or so. I've been up for a while, I've been playing I'm Alive this morning. And uh, having a couple coffees. And now we gotta head out and run a couple errands. We gotta go to No Frills and grab a few food stuff items. And we gotta stop by the restaurant, check the mail, and that kind of thing, because there's nobody around to check the mail except me. So we gotta stop and get the mail and then head out to No Frills. All right, cool beans. We stopped at the restaurant, we got the mail. We stopped at the restaurant. We got the mail, and as you can see, they redid the roof over the bowling alley. That's why they were cutting all those trees down a couple weeks ago. They put an entirely new roof on the bowling alley next door after they had that fire last fall. So that's an entirely new roof. So there you go. That probably wasn't cheap. That's probably 30 or 40 grand for a roof. Probably like 30. Probably like 30,000 bucks for a new roof. So there you go. I don't have to stay here. All I gotta do is drop this mail off, throw out the stuff that we don't need, like the flyers and stuff. Then get out of here and we'll go to No Frills. Cool beans made to No Frills. This place is jumping today. Like the, over there in the main section by the by the cash registers. Slamming busy. This is the only I think this is the only empty aisle in the entire store. It's the candy aisles. I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. I don't know, but there you go. I really only need cereal, milk and uh, Tasmos and Splenda. That's really all I need today, not a whole lot. So let's grab what we need and get out of here. I think we got everything we need from No Frills. We don't need a whole lot. We need, need laundry detergent, but Trista's gonna grab that later when she gets a ride out to get uh, more groceries for Fiora and her with her father. So he's gonna give her, she gets a lot of the heavy stuff when she gets a ride with Sean. So there you go, that's her father, in case you're wondering. So she's gonna grab laundry detergent later because that's heavy to carry home on a bike, so there you go. As you can see, this is what winter does to a bike. Poor Betty, she gets pretty darn dirty. The chain in particular is awful. That's just a nicely well lubricated mess of rust. That's lovely, so there you go. But that's what happens when you ride in salt and sand. It gets awful, which is why I don't ride my good bike in the winter. There you go. Time to head home, I think. Seagulls are back. Time to head home, I think. And see what's going on there. I don't have a whole lot more to do out and about today. My brakes aren't coming in. I was talking to Rob yesterday. My brakes are not coming in because they're not in Toronto. They're in Vancouver. So I'll be next, you know, Wednesday to Friday-ish before those come in. So no brakes until next week. So I'll have to keep riding the bad bike until then. Cool Beans made it back home again. This is where my bike has been sitting for most of the winter, just here beside the door. Cause I don't really care if it the chain rusts or something. The bike itself made out of aluminum. It's not gonna rust. But um, I don't really care if the chain per se rusts cause it's a winter bike and it's covered in rust anyway. So who really cares? So it's been sitting there pretty much so I don't drag snow and dirt and sand and salt in on the floor of the house and so on and so forth. I just left it there. So there you go. Uh, as you saw earlier, most of the snow in town is melting. The roads and sidewalks are pretty much all clear at this point. You can see over there where the neighbor next door, the teacher who lives next door, her pipes froze during the winter. They had to dig up her driveway to thaw her, to thaw her out. Thankfully, they didn't have to dig up mine, but as I was saying, most of the snow is gone except for the larger areas like my backyard. This is where Kyle has been blowing the snow all winter from the driveway. Kyle, Tammy's husband, was blowing out the driveway for me this winter so I didn't have to shovel it since he was doing some snow removal this winter, which was cool. So I didn't have to shovel it. That was awesome. But there's still a fair whack of snow there. Like I'm standing on the step right now, but if I go down here, you can see in the backyard, there's still a fair whack of snow in the backyard. That's gonna take a while before that melts. Also, next week they're calling for like minus 10 and snow again. So I don't think we're quite over winter yet. I'd like to think we are, but realistically, I don't really think we're quite over winter yet, unfortunately. It'd be nice if we wear, but 
We'll probably get another blast yet before before it's over, but there you go. And I spent most of the afternoon playing I Am Alive and trying to watch The Captive. Is that what it's called? Yeah, with Ryan Reynolds. And it was buffering badly on XBMC, so I just downloaded it instead. So now I'm going to finish watching that. And, uh, have some dinner. Why are you laughing at me? No, I'm just laughing, laughing at the game. game. We were laughing at the conversation in the game. I see. What conversation in the game? Oh, Ellie and Joel? About the ice cream truck. I see. About the ice cream truck. I don't remember that conversation. Well, Ellie knew nothing about ice cream trucks. Oh, yes, that's right. I remember that, yeah. Hey, Fiora. Yeah. What you doing? I'm on DeviantArt currently. You're what? I'm on DeviantArt currently. Hey, what are you doing on DeviantArt? That's where I post some of my pictures. Oh, some of your speed paints? Yes. I see. Like the lazy, like the lazy, um, lazy mind. Who was it was messaging you earlier that wanted to post your pictures? It was a group. On? On DeviantArt, see? Oh, a Deviant Art group yes. wanted to post your pictures. Yeah. Fiora's getting famous for doing speed painting My Little Pony speed pictures. Painting. Apparently, that's what she's doing. She also has several of them up on her YouTube channel. So, there you go, where she makes videos, speed paint videos. It's very exciting. What you doing, Trista? Watching Shameless. <laughs> it's a good show. About... Um, pretty much a crazy family. Who has no shame? They really do. Okay. But it's an awesome show. There you go. Well, After I haven't seen that show yet, so maybe I'd watch that sometime. Good. I haven't seen that yet. I'm running out of shows to watch because I'm caught up on Justified, Walking Dead. I've finished... What was the other show I was watching when I finished? Um, Spartacus. Spartacus. I finished Spartacus. I finished White Collar. Uh, I've watched a bunch of shows. This it's been a long cold winter, you know. A lot of shows got watched, pretty much. So. No, I didn't finish watching that yet. Oh, you haven't finished watching that yet. The movie? Yeah. No, because it kept buffering, so I just decided to download it nice. instead of trying to let it buffer for hey, hey, eons Tommy. on end. So I'm like halfway through it. I haven't finished it yet. Yes, Fiora. Say hello to Rainbow Dash. Say hello to Rainbow Dash. That's how you have to say it. You have to be like, Say hello to Rainbow Dash. <laughs> That's how he sounded, Mom. He? Yes. He. Rainbow Dash is a he? The video we watched is what she's referring to. Oh. I mean, I don't like to make fun of other YouTubers, particularly while I'm recording my own video, but there is a video I watched when I was looking for reviews on the WX350 that I'm vlogging with right now and some dude made a video of it and it's a pretty Sorry. weird video like he's just he's showing stuff and then suddenly he just Sad, sadly. he appears to be a brony because suddenly just out of nowhere he shows his computer monitor, monitor and his desktop is Rainbow Dash and then he says Say no, hello to like, Rainbow Dash. But not his desktop, he's watching one of the videos. I look like his desktop. Okay, maybe he's he watching, video. watching a video. I don't remember the specific details like Fiora does, apparently. We still haven't taken over yet. We haven't taken over yet? No. How many people are there now? <laughs> zero, just you and me. Just you and me, that's it. It's not zero. That's definitely not taken over. That's two. That's two. We have two people in our group. It's only a matter of time, really. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> it's only a matter of time, really. Once it was two. Next thing you know, it's 20. Next thing you know, we're taking over the world. Next thing you know, it's going to be 50 and we're taking over the world. We're going to take over the world with 50? I think we might need more than 50. <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest with you. How about a thousand? How about a hundred thousand, maybe, okay. then we'll be getting somewhere. Do you know how many users are on Steam? Too many. I believe Steam has somewhere in the neighborhood of 27 million registered users. And some of them are fake accounts. Um. 
Anybody ever tell you that you're awfully cynical for a 10 year old? Mine is not a fake account though. It's literally my name is Tori Chica because I can. You remember? It was Fiora W. Do you remember when you were, when I invited you to the group and you were like, your name, you changed your name to Tori Chica? That's what I said. I did not know you could change your Steam name. Yeah, you can. I was unaware of that. That's how into it you that I am. You go to edit profile and then you can check your profile name and then you can change your name. And then you can you change your name, can you? Well, that's wonderful. I'm going to stay Uncle Tone 99. That is who I am and I'm okay with that. Yes. I'm okay with being Uncle Tone. I don't feel the need to change my name. Oh, I have so many tabs open. Okay. Okay. Ellie, keep your language down. I'm recording. Ellie's swearing in the game. So, there you go. Cool beans, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video, I think. I'm going to make some... I already had Mario Tuna Pasta salad. Tuna Pasta. Tuna Pasta. Tony Pasta. It's really hard to record when people are making fun of you all the time. Right, Fiora? No, please. Hi, Fiora. No, please. Hello, Fiora. Uh, this is called affection. I don't like it. I know, it's painful, isn't it? It is, yeah, it's terribly painful. I already had some tuna pasta salad. So I don't know what I want, but I'm still a little bit hungry. So maybe I'll just have some toast or something. I don't know. I don't, really want, I don't want anything complicated. You can play darts with Joel? Yeah. No. He throws one dart. Really he throws badly. one dart. And Joel plays it darts? It misses. And Mrs. Ellie and Sam play darts. Joel tries, but he doesn't do this poorly. I see. Well, he there misses. you go. Cool beans. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Rock on. Rar. 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 Rar.